Okay, this is Alamat Day and Night, and I am excited to get back to this. And if you saw my most recent video, you know I just needed to take a break, needed to rest and take care of my mental health. And so I hope that you all have been well and taking care of yourselves as well. And as far as I know, this song is a summer vibe song. I have not listened to the whole thing, but I have heard snippets, but this will be my first time seeing the full music video. So without further ado, let's go. This song feels good. And lyrically, speaking of meeting somebody for the first time, cause I love that. And then being captivated, I love that more. I resonate. And the vocals, that is the main thing that I wanna point out here because they sound great. And when I say they sound so refined and clean, I mean it. And I especially love the harmony section in the bridge. But truly, I mean it when I say I loved everybody's portion of this song. And everybody's approach had its own unique flair to it and still felt like it was the same song. It didn't sound like it was too far left, too far right. Like everybody was in the same vibe. And again, that's hard to accomplish with a group. And so many beautiful shots. I think the location and the color grading, like, with the camera and how they edited the colors 
I think was really good because they had a lot of different colors that were going on, but it didn't seem busy. It didn't seem like it was too much. It felt like everything still had its place and it was still vibrant, but not overpowering. And it felt calm. It felt like you could vibe out to it, which really matches the vibe of the song overall. And I also want to shout out a particular dance moment. I believe this is in the first chorus, especially because of how they started it, because the music production does like this drum intro, something like a, and then you see their arms go, they was on the beat. They went right into the choreography and into the first formation. But something that I appreciate about their approach to choreography is the transitions because those transitional moments from one formation to another, they always seem intentional. Like there was a reason why this member went here and this member went there. And there seems to be a regard for each member and there being an intentional oh, I didn't want to use that word again. There being a purpose to highlight each member in a particular way. And speaking of dancing and style choices, there is a dance section towards the end of the music video where they're in the water dancing. And it seems that their clothing um, may be more cult culturally significant. And perhaps that's been the case throughout the entire music video, but I especially noticed at this part. And so if you would happen to know of any particular cultural significance with what they're wearing, um, the colors, what it may represent. I would love to learn about that. And so feel free to comment that below. To me, what I gather from them, not just from this music video, but from all that I have seen so far since being introduced to them as a group is how comfortable they are in their identity as a group and their artistry and their approach to their artistry and how they communicate their artistry. I'm gonna use that word again. And I love that. I love that they feel comfortable. I've really enjoyed their unique approach to music. But that is it for now. So thank you so much for watching with me and for kicking it with me, just spending a little time. As always, donation information is in the description section. If you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know and I will totally consider them. As a heads up, I am pacing myself as I get back into the swing of things, but I'm excited for some new things as well because I have been working on them, including some music of my own. Yeah. And that is it for now. So please take care of yourself, be healthy, be well, and I will check y'all out later. Bye.